Hi there, welcome to our channel. This is Anna, I'm a presentation designer, and today we're gonna play with some images using the crop and fill functions. In this slide, I have some shapes simulating two Polaroid pictures. Let's add some color to them. I'm gonna select the biggest gray square, go to the format tab, and in the shape styles group, click on the shape field button and select the picture option. In this case, I'm going to select a file located in my PC and it's going to be this blue pineapple. As you can see, the image is deformed because what PowerPoint did was fill the area of the gray shape, adapting the image dimensions to it. To change this, let's go to the format tab again and in the size group, Let's click on the crop button and select the last option, fit. Now the image has its original dimensions. Press the keys Ctrl Shift at the same time, grab it by any corner and drag it until it fits the area of the square. Perfect. Now for the next Polaroid, we will add an image in a different way. Let's go to the insert tab and in the images group, click on the pictures button. I'm going to add this matching image of a blue orange and play a little bit with it. Let's go to the format tab and click on the crop button and select crop to shape. You can choose whichever shape you want. I'm going to choose the circle. To make it perfectly round, we need to go again to the crop button and select the aspect ratio option as one to one. Great, now let's make it smaller put it over the gray background and change the color to blue. We're done! There's our set of pictures with blue tropical fruits. Okay, moving on to the next example. Here we have some triangles arranged in different positions. Maybe you're asking yourself, what will we do with this? Let it be a surprise. We're gonna start by selecting all the triangles and group them by pressing the keys Ctrl G at the same time. Now that they are grouped, Let's go to the format tab and let's click on the shape field button and select the picture option. We will use this picture. Ta-da! Here's our portrait. I'm gonna show you a bonus trick. Okay, let's press the keys Ctrl Shift G at the same time to ungroup the triangles. And look what happened! Cool, right? Since the triangles were in different positions, the image is placed according to their orientation. Let's leave it like this. This is the last slide, guys. We will fill this text with an image to make it more appealing. Let's select the text, go to the Format tab, and in the Word Art Styles group, click on the Text Fill button and select the Picture option. I'm going to select this image. What we see now is that PowerPoint automatically filled the area of the text with a picture. But since the dimensions of both elements are different, the picture looks deformed. Let's fix it. By selecting the text again, right click and select the format text effects option and a menu bar will appear on the right hand side of the slide. Let's select the first letter A that has a bar underneath and check mark the tile picture as texture option. Okay, it has improved, but I think it can look better. So let's play a little bit with the position of the image. I'm gonna scale it down evenly on both axes, X and Y, to 10%, and move the X offset a bit to let's say 88 points, and the Y offset far more, like 590 points. Great, I think that looks really good. That was all, I hope this video was helpful and entertaining to watch too. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it. See you next time!